This morning, the pre-medical interns issued a 24-hour ultimatum to the Ministry of Health to explain why they have not been deployed for training even when government has the mandate to do so. There are about 2,000 pre-medical interns in the country who completed their degree programs in medicine about a year ago. They should have been deployed to various government hospitals in April, but they are still waiting. What is delaying our deployment? What should we do as people who have sat home for almost a year? What should, we, should our parents do that invested in us all those monies? They sold their, their properties to educate us. The Ministry of Health said in April that there were no funds to facilitate the deployment of pre-medical interns. In May, Cabinet resolved that the Ministry of Finance should avail funds to the Ministry of Health so that the pre-medical interns can be deployed. But NTV has learned that the Ministry of Finance is yet to release these funds. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Health Permanent Secretary Dr. Diana Atwini met with some leaders of pre-medical interns over their deployment on Tuesday afternoon. She said that um, since they have delayed to get commitment from finance, that they have got the funds to pay for their interns allowances through the one year they are going to do what? They are going to be deployed. They have decided that those who are capable of sponsoring themselves, generally they are saying that they can cater for their allowances. The allowances are supposed to cater for accommodation, cater for feeding, cater for transport, cater for the well-being of these doctors during their internship time. They are saying those who are rich and are capable of doing so, they should go and apply for internship and they go to their preferred sites and then they start work. It's trying to tell us that internship is only for the for the rich. The poor are not supposed to have internship in any way and that is something that we as the leaders of the pre-interns of Uganda are going to stand to stand against. NTV has confirmation that in the meeting, Dr. Atwine suggested that pre-medical interns who will be able to meet their personal upkeep costs during the internship period will be paid when the money becomes available. NTV also spoke to the Ministry of Finance spokesperson Jim Mugunga, who declined to comment on the matter. Meanwhile, the pre-medical interns maintain they could demonstrate should government fail to deploy them immediately. Daniel Kibet, NTV.